There's a moment every gardener knows all too well. You step out into the garden ready to weed, water, and get to work, only to realize the mulch you laid down months ago has thinned out, broken down, or, uh, blown away. The sun is already drying the topsoil, weeds are claiming territory, and the idea of hauling in another load of mulch suddenly feels like the first step in an endless loop. For many gardeners, mulch becomes something you're always replacing, always chasing, and honestly never quite satisfied with. But what if that cycle didn't have to continue? What if you could build a garden that mulched itself season after season, not with wood chips, sashors, straw, or store-bought bags, but with living plants grown from simple seeds? This is the part that surprises most people. Certain plants are so effective at shading soil, suppressing weeds, cooling root zones, and dropping organic matter that they act as a living mulch from the moment they germinate. Instead of covering your soil with something dead, these plants stay active, protective, and productive, supporting microbes, conserving moisture, and feeding the ground beneath them. And the best part is that most gardeners overlook them entirely. So today, we're diving into seven incredibly powerful seed-grown plants that can replace mulch permanently, turning your garden into a self-mulching ecosystem that becomes richer and easier to maintain every single year. If you're tired of reapplying mulch if you want healthier soil or if you simply want a smarter, more regenerative system, you're in the right place. So, let's get into the seeds that deliver results. The first plant worth talking about is white clover, one of the most reliable living mulches on the planet. White clover grows low, spreads fast and forms a dense mat that keeps sunlight off the soil, which slows evaporation dramatically. It's cool to the touch even in the heat of summer, which means the soil beneath stays moist for far longer than exposed earth. Clover also fixes nitrogen. Every root nodule becomes a natural fertilizer factory that feeds vegetables, berries, and fruit trees. Once established, clover reseeds itself and keeps returning with no additional work. You know, white clover responds really well to mowing foot traffic and even drought, making it honestly one of the most resilient self-mulching options out there. A lot of gardeners like to plant it directly between their garden rows, or even use it as a permanent living carpet under fruiting shrubs. Now, next up is buckwheat, which is a fast-growing cover crop that works a bit differently from clover, but still performs beautifully as a temporary living mulch. Buckwheat is just excellent for warm season protection because it germinates so quickly, producing these broad leaves that shade the soil within just a few days. It's especially useful in gardens where weeds tend to take advantage of any empty spaces. Buckwheat smothers those competitors so effectively that entire beds can stay weed-free with almost no effort at all. When buckwheat begins to bloom, its stems soften and collapse, creating a natural mulch layer exactly where it grew. Because it grows and breaks down all within the same season, it's honestly one of the easiest self-recycling plants you can use to build soil and conserve moisture. Another powerful living mulch comes from creeping thyme. This plant is a favorite in perennial systems because of its incredible durability. Creeping thyme spreads low across the ground, keeping soil covered while releasing aromatic oils that deter pests. It handles heat well, produces dense foliage and offers long-lasting ground coverage that rarely needs replacement. Gardeners often plant it around garden beds, stone borders and walkways, allowing it to slowly move into open soil. Once established, it creates a stable protective layer that replaces mulch entirely in perennial herb gardens and orchard floors. Its dense canopy prevents moisture loss and suppresses weed seedlings long before they become competition. Hairy vetch is another seed that transforms soil while replacing mulch. It's a legume, which means it also fixes nitrogen, but its greatest strength is biomass. Hairy vetch produces long vines packed with leaves and as it matures, it drops this material directly onto the soil surface. The amount of organic matter it provides is astonishing enough that many farmers rely on it as their primary soil building and weed suppressing crop. The thick layer it creates on the ground functions just like high quality mulch and the roots anchor deeply, improving soil structure and water retention. 
With a simple annual reseeding, Hairy Vetch delivers continuous mulch and fertility with zero hauling or spreading required. Crimson clover deserves its own place on the list despite being related to white clover. Its growth pattern makes it uniquely valuable. Crimson clover grows taller, produces more biomass and dies back in a way that leaves a thick blanket over the soil. In areas where seasons shift quickly, crimson clover acts as a reliable cool season mulch producer, especially in vegetable gardens transitioning between crops. Its deep red blooms attract pollinators, but the real reward comes after flowering when the plant collapses into a rich ground cover that protects soil through hot, dry periods. Because it self-seeds easily, beds planted with crimson clover often develop into perpetual mulch factories. Another excellent option is Phacelia. This plant is known for its distinctive curled blossoms, but gardeners value it for its rapid growth and incredible soil benefits. Phacelia shades soil quickly, grows densely and supports beneficial insects, which leads to healthier crops overall. As it matures, its stems and foliage naturally fall, creating a gentle mulch layer that decomposes gradually. What sets Phacelia apart is its ability to grow in poor soil while improving it at the same time. It breaks up crusted surfaces, encourages microbial expansion and leaves behind fibrous organic matter that blends beautifully into garden beds. Finally there is purslane. Many gardeners view purslane as a weed, but those who understand its traits use it intentionally as one of the best natural moisture protectors. Purslane grows low and thick, forming a fleshy barrier that prevents soil from drying out even during intense heat. It thrives in tough conditions, needs little water and reseeds effortlessly. As it dies back, purslane leaves behind a thin but effective residue that nourishes the soil. Because it competes gently rather than aggressively it coexists well with larger crops while protecting the soil beneath them. In climates with strong sun and inconsistent rain, purslane becomes a reliable living mulch that manages itself with almost no gardener involvement. Each of these plants solves the mulch problem in its own way. Some grow low and tight, others grow fast and then collapse, and some contribute nutrients while protecting the soil surface. The key is choosing the right seed for your climate, your planting schedule and the type of garden you manage. When used correctly, these plants eliminate the need for constant mulching, reduce watering demands, block weeds and build rich, living soil that becomes better every year. Gardeners who shift to living mulches often report healthier crops, cooler soil temperatures, and far less labor throughout the season. If you found this guide helpful and you're ready for more soil deep gardening wisdom, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this with fellow growers and help others discover how living mulch can transform a garden for life.